well today's topic is how to create an ap invoice in your fusion and types most likely everybody should know what are the roles are being used to create ap invoices here i attached couple of roles that are being used for that accounts payable manager accounts payable specialist accounts payable supervisor so here each role should have their own significant while you are using the role and coming to the next topic here what are the ways or how many ways are there to create an invoice in fusion accounts payable application ideally there would there would be couple of ways we we can see but here i will try to explain the couple of scenarios one is manually enter invoices and import invoices from third party or external application and adr functionality so manually enter invoices in the sense the business user should know how to create invoice on the ap invoice screen they should have the supplier physically invoice copy which contained of the all the information like uh, supplier name supplier address supplier site and supplier gst number or pan number tin numbers and uh, date quantity item descriptions price discount tax and terms as well as so these are were populated on the supplier physical invoice copy so now while enter invoice by account payable user they should populate supplier information which is already available in the supplier data and go on to save the records as part of process we need to go on to click on validation tab and the invoice will get validated and if you are using approvals then we need to send that invoice for approval to the approver once the invoice get approved from approver the user will get notification saying that your invoice has been approved and second method import invoices from third party application here i try to explain more to aware or understand in the third party application while creating invoices the below diagram will give the clear picture on how to create invoices by using integration so ideally nowadays many of the clients they are not using manual enter methodology because it is a time consuming activity and also it is not be more accurate so 99% of the clients they should look up for automation to create invoices the benefits are to using integrations it's a timely manner and save time saving and accurate the uh, the supplier information let us walk through one by one here data or flat file received from source or external application place file at client server or uh, ftp servers and then it will move to the ap invoice inbound pick file and place in staging tables integration validate integration validate and transmission file post validation integration will have the capability to convert the source file into a bd template which oracle has provided as a standard transmission file and push the data into interface table so then after trigger or invoke import invoice program 
to import the payable invoices. So here I would like to give some more uh, information. So while importing or validation, the source file will get validated, which has the data, supplier information. And here you can say good data and bad data. Good data is nothing but which succeed via validations. It means all the data correctly operated in the source file. And bad data. Bad data which is nothing but which has failed due to some XYZ reasons where supplier ad number is not available or supplier site is not enabled for pay. There could be a couple of reasons so once this process got done the good data will transfer from reference tables to product product best tables which is nothing but as a best table the now the business users can see this information from the front end so that is the second methodology to create universes by using integrations this is a hack your very high level but if you want to get into more information which you wants to understand complete end-to-end -end process in detail then you need to look at next video and third methodology idr idr stands for intelligence document recognition so this is basically Kodakil has introduced this functionality for a couple of suppliers where they can use this functionality to record their invoices very easily in the application. So for IDR functionality, it's, uh, it's a very uh, big kind of process where you can go ahead and uh, maybe we can discuss this in a couple of next videos. Yeah. Thank you.